Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. So I thought it'd be worthwhile just doing a bit of a catch up because I know it's been an absolute age since I've uploaded anything meaningful to the channel. So the project cars are all still here. So we've got the R56 Subaru and over there we've got the R53 as well. So none of them have gone anywhere and not a lot of progress has happened uh, just because of a bit of a change in circumstances. So I actually got a promotion at work which meant I um, wanted to move on and get a sort of bigger and better house. So we put our house up for sale uh, a couple of months ago and within two weeks it had sold and we'd had an offer accepted on a new house. So one of the things you can probably hear in the background is a road noise, although this house is lovely, it is on a main road. So we're looking to get sort of more into the countryside um, and a bit quieter. So there will be a house move going on over the next few, few months. Um, hence the lack of videos because while we were having house viewings, I wasn't able to just jack up any of the cars and work on them when we got people coming round. So it was trying to keep the driveway as clean and tidy as possible. So we've got plenty of content coming up over the next few months. So I'm going to try this week and do a walk around of the Subaru BRZ as well. So I'll get that video updated because I know there's been plenty of progress on that um, from what the YouTube channel's seen, but I haven't been able to do a video. So I'll get that done. Also the R56, you'll probably be able to spot some changes that have happened. But I'll do a bit of a progress update on that in today's video and let you know exactly what's gone on because it disappeared and went off for a few weeks to Mills's Autos. So I'll walk you through everything that's been done to that. So in terms of progress, so there has been some on the R56. There's going to be plenty more once we get to the new house. I've got a big double garage at the new house that I'm going to be kitting out and being able to work on the cars inside which is going to make a massive difference as well also it's on a quiet country road so there's not going to be any of this background noise that i have to deal with sometimes when trying to do videos at the current house as well so really excited so i think it's going to help me um, make better content as we get to the new house as well okay so to provide the update on the r56 i need to touch on the r53 so you can see it's been stripped down there's a lot of parts have sold on this now However, with the house move, I am going to have the extra space to be able to store this. So it may not be up for sale. I may be putting it in the corner for now at the new house and see, maybe change my mind on it in a, a year or so's time. And it's still there. I don't need the money out of it now from what everything that I've sold on. I've got enough to do what I wanted to do. So it can sit there and be uh, on hold for now. But one thing I have done, so you can see things like the wheels, the brakes and everything, they all had to be stripped off because they were going on the R56 as part of my plans. Also the seats, the harnesses and the cage. So what I'm gonna do now is cut to a video I recorded a while ago where I started to strip those parts off the car. Hey everyone, so one of today's tasks is actually to get the yellow speed brakes off and also the Oz wheels. So they're actually gonna be going on the yellow R56. So I want to make sure I get those off because the car's going to go into Mills's Autos in a few weeks to have a few bits done. Um, so I'm going to get him to fit those so I never mess around with brakes on my cars. So I need to get those off. And then from the interior perspective, the other bit is the seats. So these seats, harnesses and also the cage will actually fit into the R56. So they may not be my long term choice for seats for the R56. Um, but for now it gets me out the stock ones and it means I can get the harnesses and the caging. So while I search for the, like, my perfect pair, these will do and bridge the gap and then I can get rid of the R56 interior and sell that on. So I'm going to crack on with getting these off. I'm not going to cover it because there's loads of how-to videos I've done in the past in terms of removing seats and things like that. So let's get on with it and get the job done. Okay, so for those that haven't took an R53 seat out, it's so super easy. There's actually a bolt here and another bolt at the front so I'm using T40 and out that bolt comes so there's literally four of those and all you do is slide the seat forward and backwards to be able to get to them okay so out came the seat so you can see the interior of the R53 is pretty barren now so next is going to be the cage to come out and that's sort of two or three bolts around each footing and that's nice and easy to come out there's a bit of jiggling when it comes to actually removing it from the car, but you sort of lean it forward on its front and it probably takes two of you just to get it through the door and out of the car. So the seats and the cage out, there's plenty of room for activity. So please excuse the uh, cover on the back windows. That's just trying to make it look a bit nicer for house viewings. Um, but you can see it's completely barren in here. 
pretty much everything that I needed out of it for the R56 other than that steering wheel is now out the car um, and they'll be going over to Millsy's Autos to get fitted into the R56 in the coming weeks. And for those of you that are interested in how a cage is actually fitted, you can see here, if we go down, these are actually welded in panels that come in. So they come with the cage fitting kit. And they allow you to bolt through and bolt the front part of the half cage. And then in the rear, you get a similar panel you can see just in there that again allows you to bolt that back section so if anyone wanted to know sort of where an r53 cage sits from safety devices that's exactly it so you have to cut those sections out and also have those in now these obviously aren't part of the car they come with the fitting kit and they have to be welded in so make sure whoever fits your cage you've got that fitting kit and they get they could they're able to weld okay so you join me part of the way through the job so you can see i've got the disc off the caliper and the brake line as well so i'm not going to be sticking any front brakes on because this is going to go as a rolling shell to someone eventually maybe and um, so i've stuck some spacers on there just to give us enough clearance on the strut and then i'm going to be just putting the, the front wheels from the uh, r56 onto this just to keep it rolling because i don't have a spare set at the moment um, just to get rid of the car so you see i've got stud conversion so that makes it a little bit easier because i can just literally whack these spacers on rather than having to try and thread bolts through them and stuff okay and you can see that we've got the uh yellow speed calipers off the car so they need a bit of a clean this is just a bit of grease and muck on them but we're going to give them a good clean and then they're going to go in the back of the r56 ready for when it goes over to mills's autos and i'm going to get him to fit this big brake setup and also we've got the other agendas they need a good clean because they are absolutely perfect and like new they're just a bit filthy because they've not been uh, clean for a while but they'll be going on the r56 as well so they're ready to go on okay so off camera we just stuck the wheels on from the r56 obviously i mentioned the couple of spaces behind it okay so just sort of touch back in so we've got the caliper off on the uh, passenger side so we've just got to try and get this bolt out and that's where i'm using a massive breaker bar because they're always a nightmare to get out but other than that uh, the job's going really well okay so as you can see the uh the drive, uh, passenger side disc is off We've got caliper off and the brake line as well so all of that is off and ready to go on to the r56 so i'm going to stick a couple of spaces on this side again stick the uh the old wheels on so it's rolling and i've just seen a sneak preview of the wheels on the r56 and they're looking perfect so i can't wait to show you guys okay so the next step in the process was to get all of the um seats and cage loosely fitted in the car so obviously they were going to be fitted so I may as well stick them into the cage I had no way of transporting so I had to strip the rear panels out and put the cage in the back of the car where it would sit then also the seats as well so they passenger side one I literally chucked in driver side one I threw it in with uh, with the four bolts just so um, I could safely drive it over to Millsy's knowing that he was obviously going to remove it to get the cage back in one thing I did want to do was make sure not only did I have the harnesses fitted, so I've had the scruff harnesses on my R53 fitted, but also I've kept hold of the yellow seat belts that were fitted in the car, just as a sort of a, a handy, if I'm nipping down to the shops or whatever, I don't need to faff with putting the harnesses. Um, I've actually managed to get keep hold of the uh, the stock seat belts. So yeah, the car went over to Millsy's, spent about a week there, did an amazing job welding in the cage mounts and then fitting the cage seats and harnesses fitted and he also fitted the yellow speed front brakes that i removed off the r53 so what i'll do i'll go for a little bit of a drive out um, and then i'll just give you a bit of a tour on the on the updates that have happened to the car because not only was there some work done by millsy but also as some of the videos you may have seen in terms of how to's go up on the channel um in the last few months I removed all the chrome work on the outside of the car, so the handles, light rings, those sort of things. Painted them all myself, um, just because I know the, full, the car's going for a full respray in the next 12 months. So I didn't want to pay someone to do it for it to have to be painted again in 12 months time. So brought some black paint and also some of the yellow paint to match the car. And just resprayed some of those just to give the car a bit of a cleaner look for now. So I'll give you a bit of a tour of that as well.
Okay, so I thought I'd go for a bit of a drive out just so I can walk you around the car and have a bit of peace and quiet because that road seems to be getting a little bit busy. We're getting a bit noisy. Um, so let's walk you through. So obviously you can see the wheels are on now. So we've got the Osler agendas on from the R53. At the front, we're gonna have a bit of a close up. Here, we've got the yellow speed brakes as well. So the big brake kit off the R53. So that fits straight on, so we went for that. And obviously the legendas we knew would clear those. Um, I think they've got five mil spacers, something like that behind those. Um, but we know those clear those brakes and those brakes for this car, perfect. The yellow is in a perfect match, um, but obviously the car's being repainted anyway, so I may redo the color on those or something. But for now, nearly fell over. For now, absolutely perfect. Really happy with those. While we're down here, um, I also, as I mentioned, de-chrome the car. So I've got these um, facelift um, side scuttles as well that have gone onto the car. So let's move down the side and you can see I've done the belt line in black. So we have got door handles painted but I wasn't a fan of the colour match. So I've got some black door handles to go on as well. I'm going to attempt just until I get the car painted some clip on ones. So I'll let you know how I get on in terms of fitting those. I'll do a bit of a video and a review on the fit of those and let you know where I got them from. Then coming down to here, we've got the petrol cap, so that's been colour coded to match the car. Back end, I think this was chrome originally, that's now been colour coded as well. You can see I've gone for the um, F56 LCI badges as well, I think they're just something a little bit different to the normal chrome ones of the R56. While it was at the LCS, one thing he did do for me is he had the factory JCW exhaust on the shelf um, that had already had the resonator cut out of it and um, did me a really good deal on it and fitted it while it was down there so really happy with the sound of that i'll put in a, a little bit of a clip now and that sounds really fruity really nice so happy with that wasn't something i was expecting to fit but jason had one in um, and also while we're down here you can see rear light rings as well they've been color coded just get rid of more of that chrome coming over to the passenger side no real differences one thing i will point out is that i have fitted a cooper spoiler because i have a g-wing ready to go on the back of this from the r53 as well so i've painted that myself again for now because i know the roof needs painting so when the car gets re-sprayed i'll have all of it redone properly so if you notice any of the color matches are out on the yellow bits or whatever don't worry it's a temporary measure just to tidy up a bit because i really hate the chrome on these um, and when the car's repainted everything will be redone okay let's take a look at the front end as well so we saw the lead scoop in the last video that's now been painted gloss back it's a bit dusty now um, but that's been painted gloss back on and gone on same for the stock chrome grill so i painted those black and they're on and also the headlight rings. I did do all these in yellow, but the paint match was awful and it just looked um, really bad. So I redid those in black just so it looked a little bit tidier. It just freshens up that front end and you can see we've got those facelift badges as well. So really pleased with that. Still not had a chance to fit the brake ducts and grills, but I'll do a fitting video on those as well as an update in a future video on those. So let's jump over to the interior now and see the uh, cage. Okay, so let's open up the boot next can see we've got the safety devices cage let's zoom out a bit and Jason's done a really good job so he's welded the panels in using the fitting kits down there and neatly trimmed these panels around those um, so that you can sort of still fit these panels because I didn't want it a bare interior so I wanted these interior panels to go back so Jason's cut around those nicely for me and then you can see it, it, ignore all the stuff in here but this is the um, GP2 trim, so the seat delete. So I fitted that, so I had one of those in my R53. It does need a little bit of a trim to fit with these, but you just use a hot knife and it fits in perfectly. and just covers up that back area where the seat panels were originally. and just gives you a little bit of storage as well. You can see, just cover up the address there. We've got a little package from Chameleon as well. So Chameleon LEDs, they've hooked me up with some dials for the front end. Um, for the dashboard so those are going to be fitted in the coming weeks as well 
you can see from the back here they've got the corbo seats and this graph harnesses as well and those yellow seat belts but yeah it's a really neat job that mills has done of that let's go and see from the front so we come inside you can see we've got the harnesses in as well as the seat belts so it gives you that choice so the seats are my first choice but i had them in the r53 and thought i might as well fit them into the r56 so they're com they're not really the most comfortable they do hug you and hold you in well which bucket seats are meant to do but i wouldn't recommend them for commuting so i think they're the corbo club sports i don't think they sell them now i think they stopped selling them but if you do get offered them and you've got choice of another seat i'd actually go for the others because these aren't the most comfortable but again i had them in so i thought I may as well fit them a um, couple of things have been tweaked in here so you can see obviously all the interior is still out because i'm undecided on how i'm going to retrim those so i thought there's no point in fitting those right now and um, the dials weren't working when i picked up the car it wasn't reading the speed correctly so i've stripped those all down and rebuilt those and um, again i've mentioned obviously i've got the new um, dial backs for here and here that will be fitting in a coming video but i just wanted to get that working for the mot but other than that i don't think there's any more changes since the last video on the interior one thing i would say it's definitely got more mileage on it because i'm enjoying driving the uh the r56 one thing i did forget to mention was these so with the Oslo agenda wheels if we go around to the front ones you don't actually get a center cap with them then it's a bare hole and you see all the rusty bits behind there so i actually found these on ebay they're just a cheap generic part so they're not oz pacific and then i've just brought some oz replica logos just to put on those and um, just to finish that wheel off and cover up all the, the rusty nastiness so apologies for the the dirty wheels i haven't had a chance to clean the car but i thought it was worth getting a video made today that yellow is popping in the sun that's for sure so obviously i mentioned the house move that's going on so there's not going to be lots of progress on the cars over the coming weeks and um, but i'm hoping we should move in the next two months or so um, and actually i'm right next door to where the new house is and you can see there's a lot less road noise here it's a lot quieter um, just look at the view there so yeah what i'll do is keep you guys up to date if i do any jobs like fitting the dials etc i'll make sure i get a video up and keep you up to date next video is going to be a walk around of the subaru brz because i know since the last video went up on the youtube channel a lot's happened then i've finished the rebuild on that one and there will be updates in the future and more mods but i'm going to do a bit of a walk around video on the subaru brz for the next video on the channel as well if you found today's video entertaining please hit that like button and subscribe to get updates on future content thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video